You're watching an X-Wing Back to Dials video. Today, we're going to talk about range measurement. A single range band is about 2.5 base lengths long. Similarly, two range measurements is the same as five base lengths. The full range three is 7.5 base lengths long. What does this mean? If you want to go from range 3 to range 1, or travel two range lengths, then you have to get five base lengths closer to the opponent. This includes the opponent's movement and your movement combined. Also, if you are within the asteroid field, a 4K maneuver will never take you off the board, since a 4K maneuver is the same as five base lengths, or range 2 from the edge. The board is three range rulers across, with a little bit of wiggle room. This is the same as 22.5 base lengths. This brings us to the rule of 11. 11 refers to the collective base lengths that both opponents must travel before combat range is reached. Basically, both players' ships must collectively move 11 base lengths to be within range 3. This assumes that both ships are going to start at the edge of range 1 from their side of the board. We can calculate this each move by adding up the maneuver speed and ship base. When including ship base lengths, be sure to add 1 for small ships, and 2 for large ships. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have Nadru filled with ordnance, flying against an X-Wing. We want to be in the range pocket in order to fire off this ordnance, which is range 2 to 3. We can use the rule of 11 to make this happen almost every time. Let's say the X-Wing is a lower pilot skill than Nadru. The X-Wing's pilot skill is 2, and Nadru's is 7. This means that when Nadru will move after the X-Wing. Our goal is to get at range 3 or 2, but not any closer for the first round of combat. No matter what the X-Wing does, we can safely execute a 3 straight and not be in range this round. So let's dial that in. Let's say the X-Wing moves a 2 straight. This is a total of 3 base lengths so far. We have the 2 of the straight maneuver, and the 1 with the X-Wing ship base. Now Nadru will perform his 3 straight as we dialed in. This creates a total of 7 so far, since we have 3 from the X-Wing, 3 from Nadru's template, and 1 extra for Nadru's base. Notice we have not yet hit 11, so there's no combat this round. Now, if the X-Wing moves slowly, or a 1 straight, they will add 2 to the count, bringing it up to 9. If they move fast, or a 4 straight, they will add 5, which brings up to a total of 12, which is in range no matter what. This means Nadru can safely dial in a 1 straight, which adds 2, to reach our goal of 11. If the X-Wing moves slow, we add 2 from the X-Wing, and 2 from Nadru, which brings us to 11. If the X-Wing moves fast, we add 5 from the X-Wing, and 2 from Nadru, which brings us to 14, which should be in about range 2. As you can see, this guarantees a missile shot, which requires range 2 to 3. 
So take that target lock and fire the missiles! To recap, we use the rule of 11 to gauge which maneuver will enter combat at the desired range bands no matter what, keeping in mind our opponent's slowest and fastest maneuvers. This gets more tricky with fast ships and ships that have the boost action. What if we want range 1? Instead of using the rule of 11, we can use its principles and use the rule of 16. We get 16 from adding 2 range bands, or 5 base length, to 11. Let's say that X-Wing is a Y-Wing with a torpedo that also needs a target lock to fire them off. After the first round of movement in the previous example, the Y-Wing moved 2 straight, the Drew moved 3 straight, so we are now at a total of 7. We know we will be in range this round, but Adru wants to avoid a torpedo shot from the Y-Wing. For the Y-Wing to get a target lock to fire the torpedo, it has to do a 3 straight, adding 4 to get 11. This means Nadru can dial in a 4 straight to guarantee range 1 if the Y-Wing travels fast enough to get a target lock. This will be too close for the torpedo to be able to fire. If the Y-Wing goes any slower, it will not be close enough to acquire a target lock, and will not be able to fire its torpedoes anyway. As you can see, we can use the rule of 11 to predict and enter combat at any range band we want. For more X-Wing fun and information, check us out on our website, join our Facebook group, and listen to the Back to Dials podcast. This video is based off of another video by X-Wing Strategy Tips Episode 8, Rule of 11. Links are in the description. That's all for now, and remember, fly casual.